Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we have a place in the world and overnight, overnight mind you, the prices jumped from hotels nearly seven to eight times in one night. We also have uh, unfortunate news for people on the Viking Mississippi as their cruise is now canceled, the next cruise is now canceled, and possibly the cruise after that canceled. Not great news for them. And how would you like this? How about this for a story? I can't wait to kind of cover this. How would you like to book your dream vacation on a luxury cruise line and before you know it, a TV show broke out? Okay, just the other day I reported that the Viking Mississippi had to stop. It wasn't able to get downstream to St. Paul. It has more passengers to pick up on the 15th of October. They don't think they can make that cruise port and they can't continue on the trip. Well, the Coast Guard and the, and the uh, area representatives, they ordered the cruise ship to pull over at the nearest dock to keep the traffic of what the waterway was starting to get backed up with barges and other things. They ordered them off, had to pull over to a cruise port, and basically at that cruise port you got a lovely little park, a bunch of fishing villages, and that's it. And now passengers are told, well you can stay with us until we can finally get you off the cruise ship, or you can find your way off and find your way home from these cruise ports. Uh, they are offering a 100% refund for this cruise. Again, it's not their fault the river's low, but it's not the passenger's fault neither. And they've had to cancel the cruise partway through the itinerary. 100% refund and a 25% future discount on anything they book in the future with the cruise line. And this leaves some people on the 20, uh, sorry, the 15th of October uh, a little out of luck because they've had to cancel that one as well. Obviously, if you can't get to the, to the cruise dock, you can't load the people on the cruise. <laughs> so yeah, they've had to cancel that one. And that leaves questions coming up concerning anything following that cruise as well. But as of right now, only this cruise and the 15th are canceled. Bad news for people who, I mean, a Viking River cruise is not cheap and it's considered a luxury cruise on, on the rivers. A uh, beautiful looking ship, but unfortunately, uh, things have happened on the Mississippi. We also have Eurovision is just been announced. Eurovision is going to be May 13th, 2023 in Liverpool area. And guess what? Overnight, the prices of hotels in Liverpool have jumped seven and eight to nine and ten times higher for that particular weekend. Isn't that funny how those things work out, right? People notice seeing on, uh, say, a, a website like Expedia or Booking.com that the hotels that were costing about $150 a night are now $1,000 a night and higher. Some people seeing three night vacations as high as seven and eight thousand dollars for the night. Crazy jump in prices, but hey, they know that this is a, one of those, it's like the World Cup. It's something that goes on that everyone's going to be traveling to and they're going to need a place to stay. And they know there are going to be people out there willing to pay that kind of price. Now tell me, is there anything out there that you are such a big fan of that you would pay those kind of monies. We're not talking suites. We're talking, you know, Motel 6s, Holiday Inns, a Hilton, regular hotel rooms costing a thousand and more dollars a night just because there's a festival going on in town. Would you, is there anything out there? I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe game seven of the World Series if my team is in there. Maybe game seven of you know, uh, the Stanley Cup playoffs, if my team home team is playing, maybe, maybe then. But I tell you, uh, that's kind of crazy prices. Well, we also have a really interesting story because a lot of people were wondering about this TV show. 
and it's kind of a neat concept, but uh, some people are not real happy. So, but before I get there, let me just invite you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you want to keep up to date with all things cruising, from the cruise news to new ship vlogs, to all the tips and tricks on various ships across the globe and different cruise lines, just Again, hit the subscribe button, doesn't cost anything, and it really does help the channel out and you'll be notified of all things cruising that might just make your next cruise a bit more enjoyable and maybe even save you some money along the way. Like on May 13th, don't plan to stay in Liverpool because <laughs> that'll cost you more than any of your cruises will. Well, we've all heard of the new reality TV show, kind of like along the lines of The Bachelorette or Joe Millionaire, those kind of shows, the dating shows, where people go on these shows to find true love. Uh, because we all know how that's the best way to find your spiritual partner, is to meet them on a grand scale in front of a million cameras and have pressure and games and forcing you to choose somebody or get them kicked off. And it's a, we all know that's the best place to fall in love, right? We all know that. Well, Princess Cruise Lines has a reality show, The Real Love Boat. And there's two of them out there. The Real Love Boat Australia and The Real Love Boat, which is a North American brand. We, you know, we have some pretty uh, interesting... I, I did... I, I actually watched these two shows, the opening episodes. And, you know, the production value on one was far better, I thought, than, say, on the Australia version. Um, it was a cute show. There's nothing dramatic about it yet. It's, oh, it was only the first episode. We just got to meet people. But what I did notice when I was watching the show is that there were passengers on board around this event, which means they were filming live during a live cruise with paying passengers on board. And now some of those paying passengers have come out and said, hey, that ruined our cruise. First of all, they cordoned off different areas of the cruise ship at various times so they could do filming. It wouldn't be just while they were walking through an area. It would be while they were setting up the lights and positioning the cameras and getting the hosts ready and rehearsing lines from the that kind of thing. Uh, whole areas. And if you notice, it's usually pretty centered attention areas on the ship, right on the main pool deck, up in the suite area, up in the hot tub areas, fine dining location. It's always a place that, you know, a lot of people would want to visit on a cruise ship. And they're saying, hey, I wasn't able to do this. I wasn't able to see this. Sometimes I would be sitting in my bikini on the pool deck and all of a sudden a guy comes up with a ladder, sits it down right beside me and starts stringing lights across in front of me. Uh, to get the sh to get the lighting ready for the show, it was annoying and it was intrusive, and they are not happy now. Some passengers thought it was kind of neat. It was kind of neat to see a behind the scenes kind of look and see uh, what's going on uh, behind the scenes of a of a real TV show going on. I don't know where I stand on this. I am never one. To say that anything on a cruise that's not normally on the cruise should interfere with my experience on the cruise if I've paid for it. You shouldn't be, if you're running a commercial on the on the cruise and you're co cordoned off the entire theater for the for two days on the cruise and I can't see any shows, I would be upset, right? Uh, if I paid, I want to be able to do things. If you're con doing construction on the cruise while I'm on my cruise and you've cordoned off an area, I would be upset. And I don't think this is any different. If they have to keep on sectioning places off and, you know, you can't go here yet, you can't go, oh, by the, you're heading across the deck, I'm just going to head to the buffet, oh, I can't get through there, they're filming on the pool deck. Very, very annoying. Um, yet I'm also a television buff and a film buff, and I would love to see the behind the stu scene stuff. I, I, I don't, I'm kind of right on the road. So here's my question to you folks. What do you think? Would this be annoying to you? Do you think it'd be kind of cool? They didn't offer any refunds or discounts. As far as I know, Princess hasn't offered anything back for people who were interfered with on this cruise. They just uh, gave them a welcome letter when they got on board saying, hey, 
We're going to be filming this beautiful show, reality show, The Real Love Boat. We hope you enjoy this behind-the-scenes peek. Uh, by the way, you might not be able to use the pool tonight. <laughs> <laughs> behind the scenes peek from way in the distance but uh yeah i don't know let me know in the comments down below would you be mad would you be cool would you think it's kind of cool would you expect at least some compensation in the form of onboard credits or specialty dining or something because that's something they put on the ship to interfere that's not part of the cruise and it's not definitely safety related well I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want we'll to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.